Hey, what's going on guys? Adigit here back again with another video on Black Ops 6. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to get the diamond camo unlocked on the assault rifles. I think there's seven in total, and uh, each of them have their own unique camo challenges to unlock the mastery camo challenges. So we're going to go ahead and run through how to do all that now. But if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It's free. It let's me know I'm doing a good job with the channel. And uh, it's just, you know, put a smile on my face. It's greatly appreciated. You can also drop a like on the video to let me know that as well and helps push the video around and, you know, pushes in the algorithm and uh, supports the channel, which is greatly appreciated. Comment down below which assault rifle you like the most in Black Ops 6 and tell me why. I'm genuinely curious and like to uh, know what the community's thinking and feeling. And uh, I just want to know, you know, what everyone is uh, basically thinking about the guns. I think the assault rifles need a little bit of a buff. Um, which I think they got in the recent patch, but they could they could get pushed a little harder, but it's besides the point. Make sure you hit that bell to stay up to date with all the content that I'm making, and uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these camo challenges now. All right, so to start off, we have the military camos, and as you can see, for every single uh, weapon that, you know, shoots bullets in the game, uh, the military camo is actually the same. It's 100 headshots, so I'm not really going to cover that uh, too much in depth. This video is more about the special camos that you can see down here. These are the ones that matter, and these are the unique challenges. So for every single assault rifle, you can assume it's 100 headshot kills to unlock the special camo challenges. And then the mastery and diamond camo challenges are the same as well, and we'll cover those in a moment. But start off on the XM4 for its first special camo. You have muddled. To get muddled, you have to get 30 kills shortly after while sprinting with the XM4. This is a very easy task, um, especially if you were doing these on Nuketown, which is what I recommend, considering we have Nuketown 24-7 out right now. Play as much of it as you can. I'm assuming they're going to take it away with the launch of Warzone on November 14th, so please keep that in mind. So that is how you get muddled. It's pretty easy, self-explanatory. Next up, we have Machina. Um, and to get that, it is... 30 kills without taking damage. To help you with that, I'd recommend running a suppressor like this um, just to keep you off the mini-map and to make sure that enemies don't know where you are when shooting so that way you can just, you know, spray them in the back and not have to worry about taking any damage. All right, so as I mentioned, for the mastery camos, for the gold and diamond challenges, they are the same on every single assault rifle. So we're just going to briefly go over this on the XM4 and then I'll just go through the special camos on the rest. For gold, it is 10 double kills or better with the weapon of your choice. In this case, it's the XM4. It's very, very simple and uh, self-explanatory and very easy to do on Nuketown specifically. So I recommend that you just play Nuketown 24-7. It really won't take you that long. I got gold done pretty much in a single game every single time. And then Diamond, we have get three kills without dying ten times with the XM4. This is a little more difficult on Nuketown considering the chaos that uh, that map is. But overall, this is a very easy challenge as well. And I do recommend you do it on Nuketown. And this will, as I mentioned previously, be the same challenge for every single assault rifle. It's these. It's not Bloodthirsties. I don't remember what they were called in Black Ops 2. But it's just three kills without dying ten times. It's very self-explanatory and very easy. All right, next up, we have the AK-47. This is a weapon that I think is very, very good and has a chance to probably be one of the initial top meta contenders for Warzone. And uh, it's a very good weapon to use in the Black Ops 6 multiplayer. So, as I mentioned, it's 100 headshots for the military Red Tiger. And then for the first one, White Cap, you have to get 50 eliminations with the Strategist Combat Specialty active. And uh, that will net you White Cap. Vengeance is 20 kills with the Underbarrel Launcher Attachment attached to the AK-47, and I will show you what they are talking about. So, to get uh, the <coughs> white cap camo, you need to be running these green perks, such as Dispatcher, Fast Hands, Flak Jacket, or Tack Mask, or Quartermaster, Guardian, and Gearhead. You have to be running one from each slot, or if you run Perk Read, as long as you have a combination of three, it will give you the Specialty Strategist. This is going to give you a score bonus for objectives and destroying enemy equipment. See equipment through the walls, deploy and equipment and field equipment upgrades faster. And as long as you have three green perks equipped at once, you will have strategist open and you just have to get kills while you have all three active and that'll net you the camo. And then for the vengeance camo, it is this one right here. You have to be running this launcher specifically, the standard uh, just grenade launcher. If you've ever been noob-tubed a lot in a game when someone's running the AK and been wondering why, 
Well, now you know. That is the reason, and that's how you get the camos. Next up, we have the Ames 85. It's Red Tiger, same thing as always. For the first special, it is not granite. Don't know why that did that. It is called Heat Stroke, and that is getting a kill 30 times without taking damage. Run a suppressor, it'll make it a lot easier. Maybe you can shoot people in the back and, you know, just get those kills pretty quickly. And then it is getting two kills without reloading 10 times for the burial camo. It's a very easy thing. Um, it's a little rough initially, but once you start to get those extended mags, it's going to be pretty easy. And it does stack, so say you get four kills without reloading 10 times, you will get uh, progress towards this. So it'll stack, so you'll get two progress instead of one. And then, you know, as I mentioned previously, for gold, it's just 10. And three kills without dying 10 times for diamond. Next up, we have the GPR-91, 100 headshots per usual. To get the ambush camo, it is 30 kills shortly after sprinting, so make sure you run that sprint to fire grip on the back. It's gonna be the best way to do it. It's gonna help do that. And then you have 50 kills while moving with the GPR-91, which is, you know, just very, very easy to do. So just strafe to one side while shooting and you'll get it. It's really not that big of a deal. Gold, 10 double kills better. And then three kills without dying 10 times for the GPR-91 to get that diamond. Next up, we have the Model L, which I think is going to probably be the best assault rifle when Warzone drops. I think it's going to be the best choice. It just has a very high damage output with very little recoil. Um, so if you haven't leveled it up yet, I highly recommend that you do. But to start off, to get the beautiful Cherry Blossom camo, which they did a great job in this game, it is going to be 50 kills while having the Enforcer Combat Specialty active. And then to get Cedar, it is 50 eliminations with a suppressor on the weapon, which is self-explanatory. It's very easy. Now, to get the uh, Enforcer specialty active, you need to be running these red perks. So either Gung-Ho, Dexterity, Scavenger, Bruiser Assassin, or Bankroller Double Time. As long as you have a combination of any of the three, it will give you Enforcer, which killing enemies will grant a temporary buff to movement speed and health regenerate. It's basically a worse quick fix. Um, it doesn't activate right away, but it definitely activates a lot sooner, but you just throw on the three red perks and you will get Enforcer and that will complete the camo challenge. Next up, we have what I believe to be the worst assault rifle, the Goblin MK2. I do not like this gun and I think the only way to even make it passable is to run the headshot barrel on it, but even that does not do enough in my opinion. This gun sucks, uh, and that's, that's just that. Um, so to get the first camo, which is actually wonderful, is I get 30 kills without taking damage with the Goblin and Kev 2, which is actually a much harder task than I wish to admit because I just think this gun's awful, but it will net you Astral Cry, so just run a suppressor on it, and you'll be able to just run up behind people and just, you know, shoot them in the back. And then next up, we have the Hammerhead uh, camo, and that is the same as the AK. You need to be running this grenade launcher right here, the standard grenade launcher. That will net you the camo as long as you get the kills. You have to get it with the launcher. You cannot get it with just it being attached. And, you know, if you shoot people with the bullets, it will not count. It has to be launcher kills. Usual for the gold, it's just 10 double kills or better. And diamond is three kills without dying 10 times. All right, for the last assault rifle, it's the AS Val, which is actually returning for the first time, I think, since Modern Warfare 19. Um, it's a very high rate of fire, internally suppressed weapon, and it's a very good weapon in this game as well. I highly recommend it. It's definitely going to be a, a good choice moving forward for Warzone, I believe, and it's very good multiplayer. So to start off to get the, oops, don't know how I did that again, to get the uh, special camo crimson steps, uh, you're going to need to get 50 kills with the recon specially active. I will explain how to do that in a moment. And then for the other camo, it's 30 hip fire kills with the ace valve, which is very self-explanatory. For the gold, it's 10 double, three kills without dying 10 times for the diamond. Now to get the first camo and to get the recon specially active, you need to be running the blue perks. So ghost or ninja, engineer, tracker, forward intel, or vigilance and cold blooded. With all those active, that will net you recon, and enemies can be seen through walls for a short time after respawn, and HUD edge indicator flashes when an enemy outside your view is uh, looking at you. This is high alert, and then no death skulls when killing enemies, and I think that's like the subsonic rounds from Warzone. And so having all three blue perks or more equipped will give you recon, and that will allow you to complete the camo challenge. Alrighty, but that is how you get diamond camo on all of the assault rifles in Black Ops 6. It's not a bad process, and I highly recommend, uh, you know, that you just quickly take the time to uh, go and do it. While Nuketown 24-7 is live, it is definitely the best map to do it on. So go ahead and, you know, milk Nuketown while you can. It's going to be the best place to do it. 
But if you guys enjoy this type of content, please let me know by dropping a like on this video. It's free, greatly appreciate it. Put a smile on my face. Comment down below which weapon you believe was the hardest to get diamond in Black Ops 6 and why. And if you hit that subscribe button, it'd be greatly appreciated. Put a smile on my face. If you hit that bell, you get notified whenever I upload or go live. So maybe you can even come play with me and the boys and grind some camos out. My name is Adijet. Thank you for watching this video. Peace out. Good luck with the dark matter grind.